like I don't feel great about using Pro again. We're only going to be using that for the Fear franchise and then we'll be going back to the usual titles. They took out Extreme Difficulty, so I guess we're just going to be going on Hard Baby Mode. Harlan, this can't go on. She's too dangerous. You were telling me to seal my daughter away. You knew it would come to this. We both knew. Alma looks so much better in this one than the first one. I guess we're just gonna we're gonna be following Alma into the core of the earth. Graphically, this is incredible. It still holds up super well. Some of the gameplay stuff doesn't hold up, but Yeet! Genevieve RSD, president of Armacam Technology Corporation. Intel indicates she's holed up at her penthouse. Our job is to secure the site and take her into custody. Protective custody. I don't want any breakage, even if she resists. And there's every reason to believe she might. We'll link up in the lobby. Shh. Why do I gotta get stuck with Bucket? Because I don't like crybabies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way, man. They got Boomer's Coffee? This was probably a Left 4 Dead reference back then. But now it means something. <laughs> Completely different. So I remember downloading the Fear 2 demo from Game Arena. That's how long ago this was. The, the, the squad has a lot of banter. There's a lot of banter in this game. And I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it. No! The cursed elevator already? Just me and you, Stokes, in the elevator together. Oh, does this count as a reverse curse elevator? How did she know? Oh, oh the landscape! Okay, yeah, now that hell of a view. So I had no idea about this until I mentioned it in the last video, but apparently a lot of people didn't like Fear 2. I thought it was a big hit, but apparently for a few people it was a miss. I, on Steam it's got like a 90% very positive, so I'm guessing it's just that classic vocal minority. But um, I, I love Fear 2. Some of the story stuff that happens is a little weird. Some of the gameplay is not as good as the first one for some reason. But you know what? Great game. Check this out. Personally, I'm a big fan of the blood effects in this game. <laughs> it's like, it's like red juice. Um, okay, N don't look at that again. Um, okay, N don't look at that again. So you guys know I like to show off as many guns as I can in this, in these videos. So I'll show you the pistol here. It's not very good. And this is probably the only time it's going to be acceptable to use. So there it is, look at that. Jesus! Okay, put the pistol away, put it away. Oh, the spooky parts in this game are real good. <laughs> oh, look at her go. She's been there for 12 years. Spoken in darkness. Ah, oh, the the pool water is burning my retinas. Who what is in what's in the water? No, it wouldn't be a fear game without a good magazine. Kevin Dedrick makes his own magazine about himself. <laughs> Alma, I hear your ambient sound effects. Oh, there she is. You want us to use this? The secret bookshelf that only opens when you close the music box. Uh, so here's our squad. If you want to guess who dies, go for it. Uh, there's Beckett. Uh, oh, we got Stokes. I might have to keep that one myself. That guy's circled, so he's probably going to die first. Oh, a real life photo of Alma Wade. This is based on a true story. Where's the rest of the team? We don't have much time. You and your squad are the only hope of stopping Alma. I remember that. That's from uh, Pro Fear on the Indie Mouse channel. What a great video, dude. That's just a fantastic. Alma stops. Alma. Oh, don't do that, Alma. We gotta. We gotta keep this video 
you up online. Oh, my gun. Then this explosion happens, which is the event from the end of fear, and then everything changes. Then it becomes this fight for survival. Horror parts in this in this game are a lot better. Oh, put on my gunners. Whoosh. So Alma lurks a lot in this one. And it's terrifying and I love it. Today on True Haunted Locations, we have the case of the haunted bathroom. Where every time you open the door, haunted sound effect. There's no wind in here. How did that open? Okay, it's pretty dark. Oh! It's... It's the dead nurse. Hey, what the heck? You were dead in the bathroom! Damn, this must, must have been a zombie. Good job, dude! Careful, Sergeant Beck. You're about to stumble into an ambush. Oh, you don't say. There's a f Quack. TF2 pyro over there. I see him. He's just burning shit for fun. I don't want to mess with that guy. They made like an eight minute news broadcast. You can't just... I don't know, where are they? Okay. A lot of smoke in there. Okay, that was close. Almost, almost copped it. Thank God those guys come in with explosive things on their back. Excuse me, I saved you. Go away! Are you the bathroom lady again? I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you silent bitch! Oh my god, is it? <laughs> it's not looking good for this elevator. Do not shut it down, that counts, please. Fuck! Yeah, congratulations guys, you got me. <laughs> uh, you, why would you open the doors? They did drop the elevator. It. Yeah, it felt like a rock, did I? I'm behind you, bitch. Yeah! Okay, so there's three different versions of Alma throughout the games. There's, um, you know, the young Alma, the little girl one that we saw a lot in the first game. There's this one right here, where this is known as Hag Alma, the the terrifying elder one. And then there's the, the this magazine called the last one, Hot Alma. Um, I just, I just, hey, back up, homie. I got the shotgun now. Okay, so you probably can't tell because I made a sick montage there and I made it look really good. That's kind of what I do. I make things look better than they are. Um, that's why I worked on all those photos of your mother. <laughs> Sorry, that came out. Of, I didn't mean that. I'm sure your mother's a lovely looking lady. But the, the Fear 2 shotgun, it was... They nuded it. This, they, the power is gone from the, the original Fear 1 combat shotgun, which is a, a very common complaint I hear about Fear 2 compared to Fear 1, but... It's fine, it's, I give it an okay out of 10, it's, it does the job, but yeah, it's, it, it lacks that, that oomph the first one had. Yikes! I feel like Alma's just having me on at this point. She's playing a little practical joke on me. Doosh! Uh oh. Uh-oh, let me in. What the heck was that? Hey! <laughs> oh, the shotgun can surprise you sometimes. Come on. There we go, alright. Okay, that one was pathetic. Okay, check this out, ready? Uh-oh. 
So here's one way they ramped up the scares in Fear 2. This vent took me to an optional item, and they hit you with the Alma on the way out. Like, you didn't need to go do that, so I don't know, it's just cool. Wait, what? Can you guys hit the exit button? The open pod button or something? Oh man, Genevieve. Looks like Genevieve took a bullet to the face. <laughs> yeah, that confirms it. Genevieve's playing on easy difficulty. You can't take a bullet to the face in this game. Not without armor anyway. Oh my god. Alma! You can't just go around telling, turning people into skeletons. Nah, you know what? You do what you gotta do, girl. Hello. Good morning, chickpea. <laughs> Not going what? Ah! Jesus! Fuck! What? What was that? Why is that corpse on fire? Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, that seems unnecessary! Oh! Okay, we're about to get the fire cannon. It's, I don't think it's a very good weapon. We can only hold three weapons, so I'm not going to be using it. Yeah, look at this. Anyone ever use this gun? Anyone think this is good? Just give him some of this. Just give him some It sets him on fire? I don't know, man. I'd rather just... I'd rather better, you don't put helmets in the washing machine. <laughs> oh, what the f no 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 ah! Stop it! Oh they're scary. Beckett! Help her? You, you don't want me to help you, brother? Mm, okay, yeah, let's go through this vent. This looks great. Whoa! Who was that? <laughs> yeah, back to you, Troy. Uh, thank you, Miriam. Um, yeah, in the hospital today, there was um, 17,000 corpses found in a ventilation system. Oh, hello, Fox. Stay away from her. She's mine! Oh. Yeah, no. You can you can have Alma. Oh my god. I'd say good thing we're in a hospital, but I don't think even House MD could figure this one out. Wait, hold up. Oh they got the poster, the spanner poster from the first one. I like that. Oh Jesus. This guy shove an iPod up his ass? What is that? I can't figure that out. This place is exploding. It's making it real hard to shoot. Look at this! What am I supposed to... It looks like a fucking VR game when that... Oh. New weapon. Assault rifle. It's pretty good. I prefer it over the SMG. i probably never use the SMG again. It's got a nice little Call of Duty scope on it. We're gonna take this guy out real quick here. And by real quick, I mean, you know, 20 seconds. It's still quick, but... <laughs> The heck, you can't stand on top of a ladder like that, you freak. So the main reason I think Fear 2 is a lot harder than the first one, even lacking the extreme difficulty, is in this one, in, you do, in the first one you deal with about six to eight replicas, max, in a room. This one you deal with about 29 of them, and then there's a door that spawns another 1500, so... <laughs> Oh. Fuck. Oh, I forgot about the quick time events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember now. You're like free pizza at an anime convention. She can smell you. She wants to consume you. Bruh. Oh, here we go. Just into this shady ass elevator. Max cap 1200 LBs. Um, joke about your mother. Everyone cheers. And we get up to the top. 
Without the lights blinking. Without the dust. You're gonna mess this up for me? You? Oh, there's a fan. Oh, brother. See you in hell, idiot. Okay, that's an anti-cursed elevator. Can we knock one of the knock one off the counter for that one? Let me show you something while I've got your attention. Guy named Harlan Wayne had this place built. He's the one that came up with the replica program. Genetically engineered puppet soldiers that respond to telepathic orders from psychic commanders. Fucking crazy. The problem is the process of turning somebody into a viable commander takes a bit of a toll. With the right amount of psychic amplification, this thing can control the replica. But he's so far gone, nobody can control him. It's not very useful in a military situation, but adequate for my prison. If you can lean, you can clean. Sorry, I stopped listening to Sergeant Dickweed up there about 20 minutes ago. He's still talking. It's replica arena time, baby! I got saved by my girlfriend, Alma Wade. Hang on, before... Hang on, before we say that, let me quickly Google... How old is Alma Wade? Okay, she's 26 at the time of death. And she's 47. Chronologic. She is dead, but you know what? As long as she is the right age, we are good <laughs> for that joke. Fit 2 also has this automatic shotgun. Doesn't deserve its own montage, but it can do this. <laughs> Classic Civil War, so the security of fighting the replicas again. Oh shit, dude. Where did that go? Oh, it's right there! So here's how fast it can escalate with those monsters crawling on the ground. Check this out. Dead. No, don't request backup, you stupid bitch! <laughs> you stupid ass replicas! Oh god! Oh, it's the powered armor suit! Tell, the powered armor units in this game? Yeah, they're, they're a bit tougher than the first one as well. Oh my god, look at this poster! It's kitties! Wanna play with us? Man, that is just... That's so wholesome! I don't know what to say! Troubling, to say the least. Look at this guy! <laughs> he car crashed so hard he turned into a skeleton! Okay, so this is a new enemy called the Remnant. I've never had an issue with them. They kind of, they, they're like puppet masters. They bring back the, uh, the corpses around them to fight for them. But the corpses are so weak and take so long to get up. And then they just retreat forever. And then they blow up into dust. Are, are they supposed to be challenging or something? You gotta be fucking kidding. Oh baby, the missile launcher. Get rid of this fuck. Why am I holding a handgun still? What am I, crazy? Okay, Griffin's getting simped, but that's fine. We got a missile launcher. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Oh, why did they give you the missile launcher? Oh, I don't know. It's probably because of this guy. Yeah, that's how you deal with that idiot. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Shit. You bastards, Jesus. There's a third one! There's a fourth one, I'm gonna nuke a school. Stokes, I know your fate, but I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I'll edit it all out, don't worry. Oh, enemy APC? Hope they sprayed it with a uh, missile launcher repellent, otherwise uh, they're gonna have a bad time. They're dead. Oh my god. Oh, there's a new cowboy in town.
that was fun. Uh, so I have some cool Fear Indie Mouse uh, trivia for you. Back in 2011, when Fear 3 was coming out, I, I pre-ordered it. I was such a big fan of Fear 1 and 2 that, you know, it was an easy pre-order for me. And I got the Collector's Edition, which a lot of people aren't even going to know existed. And it actually came with this uh, naked, pregnant Alma Wade figurine with the, the demon fetus trying to escape from her stomach. So after nine years of having this damn pregnant, naked Alma Wade, I can finally use it. You know, when the cops find me, they're going to use it as evidence that I'm a serial killer. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, if you got a problem, you talk to naked, pregnant Alma Wade, okay? I like how my gunner glasses have like a, a JJ Abrams snap zoom feature. Look at this. All right, Griffin's dead. Good job, Alma. You did it again. What the fuck is going on? Wow. Look at these drawings. These are incredible, guys. Panda Castle. Do you think actual kids did this? Oh, God. What's wrong with Mum? <laughs> I will not hurt my fellow classmates. Man, that takes me back to beating up little Timmy. You know, these, these fantastic first graders look a little suspect to me. All of them do, actually. Oh, there's a squirrel there, what the heck? What stick is this guy got? Oh, the Knob Gobblers, Great Band, and Blood Geist. Hey, I hear that. Hey! What are you doing? You can't always play Megalovania. You stupid idiot. See ya! This is the weird kid class. What the heck is that? Um, this is where all the future serial killers learn. You guys ever seen this uh, lunchbox before? Sandwich time. Three o'clock is sandwich time. Mwah. Yeah, it's beautiful. You guys want to help? Oh, you guys didn't have this in this <laughs> This kid drew Godzilla flame in a school bus. You can't, you can't draw that. Okay, this might be worse. This is uh, my piggy. It's a human face on a pig body. I just, I don't know. All right, here's my challenge to you guys. Any of you in the comment section guess this word? I have no idea right now. You gotta be kidding me. Look, if I can quick scope a 16 year old 200 meters away in Warzone, I think I could kill some AI in slow motion. This is where I die and everyone laughs. And this absolute bozo gives us our penetrator, which for some reason is called the hammerhead in this game. And luckily the hammerhead hasn't taken the uh, hit the shotgun did. It still works as intended, baby. You pin these suckers to the wall in slow motion. You can see the big blue pins sticking out of their head. Oh, you can see yourself in the mirror. Damn, I look good. <laughs> Can't believe they sent me here with the skeleton crew. <laughs> Principal's office, huh? Oh my god. Don't worry everybody, it's just a remnant. It's just a pathetic fat remnant. By the way, a quick PSA. If you're wondering how I get all those names in the intro credits of these uh, these videos, I, I pick six names from Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, I'll tweet out a thing, and if you reply to it, you have the chance to get in one of these videos. So, you know, there's a little, uh, ooh, a little, little thing to get, get. It's a cursed... Sergeant Dickweed. That's what I need. Somebody kill this son of a 
Well, uh, somebody killed the son of a bitch. Hey, come on, guys. This is pro fear. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> You're a goddamn killing machine. Thank you, Sergeant. It means a lot. How's that door coming? Might as well be using a lighter, sir. This thing won't cut for shit. <laughs> I'm coming in, baby. Progress. See ya. <laughs> there goes Sergeant Dickweed. You didn't think he was going to be the uh, the main enemy, did you? So we're about to meet Terry, aka Snake Fist. Oh, you. There's a nice little bit of foreshadowing there, um, with a stealthy Man, boy in the toast. ceiling, but... I'm Terry. Terry Halford, a.k.a. Snake Yeah, I know, man. Terry, you look like a gamer, my dude. <laughs> By the way, don't pick your nose. She's watching us on the security cameras. I wasn't going to. Us, I don't know why you want. you'd tell me that. So go. this is, um, this is it's a big poggers in chat. So it's a quirky, but I don't have a chat. Good. I'm not laughing. <laughs> it's a lonely world. What has he got in his pocket? What are you? What do you got there, brother? I can't see it. Anyway, this is the gun that turns people into skeletons. So I'm pretty excited to have this again. Snake fist, um, you know, what can you what can you do at this point? So fun little fact here: Snake fist is actually wearing a Shogo a Mobile Armor Division shirt, which is um where that music was from from the original game's Easter egg that I had playing. Uh, a lot of people let me know that that was it. So it's one of their first games. There you go. Cutting this one a little close. Look at my health. <laughs> you thought you were going to get through the game without seeing these bastards? They're actually not so bad in Fear 2. They're a lot worse in Fear 1. Oh, this one. This one's coming with me. <laughs> Uh, what floor, buddy? Oh, I'm headed there too. All right, he's gone. Okay. I'll skip the metaphysics and try to keep this as simple as possible. Sergeant Beckett, Genevieve Aristi did some nasty things to you back in that medical facility. First came the gene splicing operation to link you to Alma. Then she tricked you into getting into the telesthetic attunement chamber, which strengthened the link. That's why Alma's aware of you, and why you're totally pooch screwed unless you can destroy her. Seems pretty straightforward. Find the psychic amplifier, plug Beckett into it, flip the switch, and Alma's history. Hey, I've heard of a train running late, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> what, uh, what? What's wrong with that? EMP, you brotherhood of steel, son of a bitch. Take one of these. How do you like this? Oh, this is the classic bait. Ready? You turn off the electricity in the water. Some dudes show up. Switch it back on real quick. And watch those motherfuckers fry. <laughs> Sorry, just die, just die. I don't like how the laser gun is off-centered. <laughs> right, come on. Okay, no, it's fine. It's swinging left, that's all right. This bit reminds me of Fear 3. Is there a train you walk through in Fear 3? Pretty sure there is. Alma. Oh, it's hot Alma, boy. Bastard keeps ruining my mech. And like I get in it and it's instantly down again. So that's one of the, the downfalls of hard mode is your mech gets absolutely demolished because of the damage upscale. So that's fine, we got this brick wall. I'm just gonna hit this guy through the wall. <laughs> He's killed me three times. 
I just need you guys to know that. Okay, we'll get back in the mech. We're on a timer here. Because he's about to destroy it. Go, go, go. See, warning already. I hardly just got in it. We've done it. Oh my god. Okay. Will I even put this in the video? I don't know. Are you hearing me right now, guys? Leave a like. <laughs> See in hell, you bastards. You cheeky bug. I thought he could come get me. Wouldn't be a monolith game without a, like, a move, you're on a moving train. A couple of zombies here. You're gonna blow them out of existence. Get oh, off my spot. train. Get off my train. Ah! Right, hit him with the right time. Oh, okay, my bad. We were playing the wrong game there. Um, wrong monolith, first person shooter. We're back. You know, this train level's alright as well. Not quite as good as the Phantom Express. Caution, danger of death. Not even why you're gonna die, it's just, you know, watch out for death, it's around every corner, kids. You could be walking to school one day and DOOF, you're gone. Take her back to the vault. Well, this isn't one of the most depressing things I've ever seen. The more I play the fear games, the more I'm asking... Are we the baddies? Stokes! She's alive! You, you probably don't want to get in an elevator with me. I'm gonna be real with you here, Stokes. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna use me as bait to get Alma in here, and then we're just gonna blow a load of bullets into her. A, a load of bullets. No spoilers, guys. Come on. Guess, guess we're pulling these. What's wrong with you? We have to stop Alma. That's exactly what I intend to do. But Beckett's not strong enough without the amplifier. She'll absorb him. And then we'll lock them away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Without Alma, I don't have any leverage. Without leverage, I don't have a future. I can't believe this. The city's a smoldering ruin, and you're worried about your fucking resume. We're gonna kill this bitch. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Genevieve, you bitch! Hey, at least it's hot, Alma. Oh. This has been Fear 2 everybody, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna let you piece together what just happened, put one and one together, make two. Um, Beckett's, I don't think Beckett's ready to be a father, and I'm fairly sure Alma isn't ready to be a mother, but uh, if you guys want to see Fear 3, you know what to do, leave a like, leave a comment, support the hell out of this video. If it does well, I'll, I'll move on to the next one. Um, thank you. Thank you. Here's a list of all my favorite people in the world, my Patreon supporters. See you next time, boys!